Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I've got this motor. It's come out of a Vax. It's uh, made by Amatech Italia. Four zeros and a six and a zero. Zero one nine five one zero. It's written there. One ninety three is written here. Presumably that's nineteen ninety three. Up here you've got three ninety six, which has confused me because presumably that's third month in 19 or third week or month in 1996 a232 240 volts 50 60 hertz i'd say that means this motor has come out of a vax vacuum cleaner a model 2007 the standard name for that would be a vax 2100 looks like a vax 121 but it's more modern it's uh, an orange vacuum like the vax 121s but it's got this green trim on it as well it's a wet and dry but i've only got the dry bits I've stripped it down, I'm cleaning it up, and I'd like to have a good look at the motor, but I'm stuck. So, I'd like to check the brushes. It should be simple. There's one on here, and there's one around here. You get these little things, the little connectors, little spade connectors off. Just by easing up the little tab. They pop off and it looks like this and my suspicion is that either the whole of the black bit but I think it's part of the black plastic underneath or just the brass bit and that's what I presume slides out and it does come a little bit but what's happening is there's I think a little metal tab on top or underneath that restricts this so it can't just slide straight out so if I try to pull it it won't just come out. I'm putting on quite a bit of force there. You can't see my face gurning, but yeah. So spade connector onto that little tab there. Not much to it. I think there's a little metal tab on top that needs to be pushed down so that it can slide out. But then the, the issue is that this gray plastic, which you can hear is loose, is, is fitted on somehow. It's rocking about a point. It seems to be loose in every dimension. It's like it's snapped on somewhere. It doesn't seem to be interfering with anything. The fan spins okay. I've checked this motor. It turns on fine, runs fine, but I would like to check the brushes just because, you know, it's a, it makes a thorough job of it. Can't figure out how to take it apart. I've tried loosening these tabs on the metal bit down here and I suspect that this is some kind of overspill there I suspect that this is bonded on somehow that looks like a bakelite type plastic but I can't I can't get it off I can't get I can't block anything to be able to take the nut off without taking this off so I'm kind of restricted to this end and I only want to have a look at the brushes. It's not exactly complicated. So what have I tried doing? Well, you can see the marks up here. I've tried levering this off. So I put it down like this. Like, it is loose. I just wonder, should it just go clunk and pop off? Don't want to damage it. It's plastic. It's kind of hard plastic. I imagine it would snap. I'll try the other side. Like, I can just break it off, but then I've got a machine that works, and then I will have a machine that won't work, so I don't want to break it. Like, sometimes I will just break stuff, because I, don't, I just want to see how it works. I don't actually want it to have it, or to have it working, um, or because there'll be some other part of it broken. So I'm stuck on that. Amatech 406001. Looks like 9610. And then it was an A232. 0396, that's 0396, A232, 240, 50 slash 60, CLB. That's stuck. I can't figure it out. But somebody on YouTube might know. It should just slide out, it should be a little tab on top. This looks like it should pop off, but I might be completely wrong. So any ideas on this from a Vax 2100? Or a Vax model 2007.
vacuum cleaner, let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you later.